is up you guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here today i'm doing part two for my um becoming that girl video that i did i did a summer morning routine edition becoming that girl that's super trendy here on youtube or tiktok um and so i asked if you guys wanted to see like a part two but like a night routine edition so that is what i'm filming for you guys tonight it is currently 4 30 so i feel like this is just like the perfect timing to film this video because that's usually how my evening kind of slowly start i was gonna go to the pool today and so kind of would have been different if i was coming from the pool but there's like a severe thunderstorm watch and i didn't end up going today like i originally was supposed to but yeah also i wanted to quickly say since my routines sometimes are different so like my morning routine i did a workout that day because i worked later on that day but if i'm not working like today i had the day off then i typically will do my workout of the day around this time so that i can shower after and have like my good protein stuff for dinner but that video i did it in the morning because i had work um later on that day and if i work at night then i won't do my workout at night so just wanted to quickly add that in here make sure you are following me on instagram tiktok subscribe down below if you guys have not already and let's get right on to this video i hope you guys enjoy also just quick little disclaimer i'm like it's okay to not be like this every single day it's just kind of like a mission to becoming your best self and like healthy habits all that stuff so i really love creating routines especially morning and a night routine um it just really leaves me super structured and makes me feel really good so definitely try to put yourself into a good routine this summer and also just have fun obviously not every day is going to be as structured depending on like plans and stuff so today's a little bit more of a chill night no plans really but maybe i'll do like a night out edition you know just like fun different videos like that and i'm going to start out with my workout put on my workout clothes i need to take off my necklaces because they actually got super super tangly and also i did my nails a couple of days ago with my mom i don't go to the nail salon often but she really wanted to go and i was and we have um we had a barbecue on saturday and i have another family party type of thing this saturday coming up in a couple of days so i was like you know what why not so i did a different shape this time more of like a squarish and a little bit shorter and i just did this really light blue color i think it's super pretty love it so yeah my new summer nails right now i'm gonna take off my jewelry and put on a nice workout outfit to make me feel good before i get in a workout today that just really adds to the workout when you feel good you look good you feel good you have a good workout i belong i belong to you Today's workout is shoulders, back, and some ab circuit, and then we'll call it a day. Something light, simple to move my body because honestly, I don't feel like working out, but I'm just gonna do it because you don't regret you don't re you don't regret a workout. done i also ate because the dinner was actually ready pretty early today so got in like an early dinner meal not me with the little definition here anyways i'm about to shower today's hair washing day and i'm going to show you guys the shampoo and conditioner i use and also the lighting here is just like amazing at this time because it's like about to be golden hour and stuff so i really love showering when the lighting is like this like it's really the little things in the night routine that make a huge difference like it's just an extra vibe as if you had like a candle lit and you know like that dim lighting so let me show you the shampoo and conditioner it's also just kind of like a mini self-care 
moment I feel like when the lighting is like this also don't mind the bottles they're all like you know when they get like this from squeezing it so it's the Paul Mitchell's um, tea tree special shampoo and conditioner duo if you guys really want like a full self-care experience this whole like ambiance is definitely the way to go because this smells like you're in a spa because of the tea tree it's so relaxing and it literally smells up the whole entire bathroom especially with the hot water and the steam really um, obviously like enhances it so this is the best duo especially for like a night like this where you're just trying to be the best have the best like night routine really really does the job also in the shower i will wash my face with my cetaphil daily facial cleanser for normal to oily skin this used to be like my ride or die when my skin was just like doing its thing and then me myself and i love to be extra sometimes and think like let me try something else like it could be better right and i end up effing up my face so now i've gone back to the basics basics simple is best at least for my skin everyone's skin hair everything is different so just always keep in mind when you're watching these type of videos and just listening to anything that people recommend including myself because what works for me now it might not work the best for you and based off of your needs so always keep that in mind and it's definitely something that i've learned to keep in mind myself when watching other videos it's great to get inspo or learn about products from um like other people that you watch but also pay attention to maybe the type of skin they have and even if you guys have the same skin types like it just really might not react well with you and that's fine you just have to find what works for you it's all about trial and error just keep that in mind when watching these types of videos but that's just part of my routine shower and I'm charging my phone it's about it just got so dark outside um, and it's like about to thunder and pour all the above so I'm just fixing the lighting um, I have my towel on I'm about to change but quickly um, I've been using this moisturizer every night it's the Olay sensitive skin moisturizer no SPF none of that very simple and it's been doing amazing for my skin um, and I'm gonna change and comb my hair. with this little scrunchie so it doesn't mark it just to give my hair a little bit of nice curls because I'm still in the process of figuring out what to put in my hair so that my natural curls can thrive because they used to thrive and ever since I cut it again um, they're not thriving as hard so there's that and change into super comfy clothes skincare body lotion hair care got my comfy outfit on and my little slides and now is the time of my night 
where I usually spend it with like my family. We'll watch some TV in the living room and kind of just hang out there. It's also started to rain. So yeah, I'm also gonna light a candle because we do that also after we eat dinner and stuff. So that's just what this part of my night is looking like and it's 6.40 right now. set the whole vibes in here my tea my diffuser put the little lights on which is just always a vibe so we love that i will link my diffuser the essential oils down below for you guys it's amazing i put eucalyptus and lavender today but i also love mixing in like the tea tree or the peppermint um i've done the orange before the only one i don't like is the lemongrass um it just is not is really not it so just set the vibes for myself and it's a must so now is the time where i'm gonna do my evening reflection which i do in my gratitude journal here and then what i'm actually going to do is oh sorry my gratitude journal is this one um and then with my other lined journal I'm actually going to write out some goals that I have for the rest of the month. Usually I do this on the first of every month, but I actually didn't end up doing it. Um, it kind of just slipped out of my mind. And so it's okay, it's never too late to write down goals. Um, so it's totally okay if you haven't written down any goals, I highly recommend doing so. So you guys know my little lineup. Um, it's the same as like the morning time, so I'm going to just have my me time. Um, but just nighttime edition. I'm gonna turn on the fan um, because it's actually getting hot here. But what was I gonna say? Yeah, it's still very gloomy out, rainy, so we're just gonna take this time and I can incline my bed, which I love. Honestly, I don't know how I will ever go back to not having a like adjustable bed frame because it's honestly like a game changer. Okay, this is a little risky. Um, also this cute little tea mug my friend Maria got me for my birthday. It's from Muji. Let me show you up close. It's like the cutest little tea mug I've ever seen. And it really does fit my tea really well, so... stuff it makes me like very motivated and very inspired um to obviously like work hard and accomplish everything that's on my list um especially when you know like you know sometimes you do things and like you kind of fall off 
of them like off of the habits it's good to kind of like put your own self back in check um through your goals i feel like that gives me like the extra push like dang like you need to get back on it um so i really enjoy even just like the evening reflections but also especially when you're writing out your lists now before i turn my diffuser off because i don't like to leave it on too long um while it's still like diffusing away i'm going to lay back and watch a youtube video or something i love to um kind of like unwind and watch youtube in the evening especially in the evening i don't know why i just feel like i catch myself more watching youtube videos at this time especially if i was like doing stuff during the day like i had appointments and stuff so i don't like to just sit and use my time for watching videos i can do that more at night like i need to get everything else done first type of thing so i love to support comment down below some of your favorite youtubers um that you watch but yeah right now i'm gonna watch rachel Rocky's new vlog i love watching her vlogs I just did the whole nightly ordeal, washed my teacup. I also brushed my teeth. I always pour a glass of water before I go to bed. Um, I just have to wait. Like, once I started doing that, there's just honestly no going back. Especially because I do not like um, being thirsty in the middle of the night and then like not wanting to get up, but when it's right like next to your bed. Who gives a shit? So now I'm going to plan out my day for tomorrow. Doing that the night before. Plus, also I wanted to say this. So doing this, planning out my day for tomorrow, plus journaling and stuff before bed, I feel like is a great way. And I think I learned this in my psychology class like two years ago, I want to say. Um, it really does help release everything from your mind because at least for me who has trouble sleeping sometimes because like my mind keeps going if you're somebody who struggles falling asleep because your mind is constantly like thinking about something throughout the day or something you're looking forward to something you're anxious about something you have going on this week or tomorrow and it's like our minds are constantly thinking about that type of stuff and so it's really good to journal about it not necessarily like you thinking think like bad things at night it can be anything something that is making you anxious um something that's on your mind things you have that you're looking forward to or things that you just have to do that are just regular because those things kind of like replay in your mind about how you're going to go about it just scenarios so um planning out your day and journaling all that stuff is really 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 helpful before bed so that you just kind of like release it from your mind put it all out there you plan it all out whatever it is you just let go of whatever you were thinking about so that at night um you don't have to worry about how you're gonna go about it so using my lavish day planner and just pre-planning it out um so this is like one of the things that sometimes i might not do um and other times i will remember but it's such a crucial step i feel like it just makes all the difference so I'm going to do that because tomorrow I do have a busier day because I do work. So it just helps me a little bit more, especially on the days that I work. guys 
know realistically when I go to bed. I know with a lot of these routines, people have like the perfect routine. Wake up at 6 a.m., go to sleep at 10 o'clock at night, and you just have like the perfect um, day. But that's really just not realistic. Like it is freaking summertime. And if I was going out, like there's no way I would be going to sleep at 10, you know? And I'm not saying I go out all the time, whatever, but... And anyways, it is just not realistic for me going to sleep at 10 a.m. Everyone is different. Um, it depends what time you wake up. Some people do have early jobs, so it really just depends on the person. But me, as a college student, not in college right now, have summer break. I don't sleep that early. There's times where I'm tired and I do sleep at like 11 something. There's other times where I sleep at 12 something or 1 something. That's just the way my nights go. So, usually what I do for the rest of the night is chill, um, watch some more YouTube, FaceTime my boyfriend, FaceTime my cousins, FaceTime, like, my friends or something. It's usually how I spend the rest of my night before I actually go to sleep. It curls. Okay hey guys, I'm about to take off my earbud and go to sleep. I'm really tired. It is 11.40 right now and I'm going to turn off my little lights and just go to sleep. I have my alarm on for 8.30. I put one on just so like, I'm not in a too deep of a sleep and then I'll usually go back to sleep until 9 o'clock. That just works for me, but I always make sure I set an alarm and I don't just like wake up randomly because I like to still make use of my day. So. By 9 o'clock, I will be up. Also, I changed it onto a different um, top. But yeah, I love you guys all so much. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I hope you guys enjoyed this part two of like my night routine. <laughs>